Hello, everyone. <laughs> should, always, should always start a, a session with a random remark to a coworker. Um, welcome to the closing game. I hope you've had a, a, a good time here at uh, uh, Embedded Linux Conference. And do I have slides? Can we get? No. Oh, there they are. So yeah, I did. I actually made some slides. Um, my name is Tim Bird. I'm the architecture group chair of the Core Embedded Linux project of the Linux Foundation, which is kind of a long thing. Um, and uh, I'm also chair of the program committee. Uh, and this is our closing session. If you have never been to one of these before, uh, we just, at the end of kind of a, it's not a super long week, but you know, it's, it kind of goes late. Uh, at, it's nice to kind of relax and just have a little fun at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the conference. And so uh, we're going to do that right now. So first, before we, before we do that, I just want to give a big thank you to the people that make this event possible. Uh, I was talking to someone earlier. We really couldn't do this without our sponsors. And uh, so if you'll just join me in a round of applause for all these people. <laughs> Intel is a diamond sponsor. They've been a really uh, great sponsor for us for many years. Uh, program committee speakers, uh, of course, do a lot of uh, preparation uh, for their talks. Uh, you the, as the attendees, and of course the Linux uh, Foundation event staff, uh, they are the best in the business. Uh, they really are. I used to run this thing myself, and uh, it's unbelievable the amount of work it is uh, that goes on behind the scenes. Um, so just a little bit of housekeeping before we get going. We already have an eLinux uh, wiki page set up for presentations. If you, are, if you are a speaker and you're submitting your presentations through the CFP, just follow the instructions that you were given. We'll get them off the Linux Foundation website, and we like to collect them all in one place. And then as the, uh, vis as the videos become available, uh, we will put links on that page to the videos for each talk. So, um, so please, speakers, submit your slides. There's always a couple of stragglers. Uh, and <laughs> So please don't make us hunt you down. Um, just it, by way of uh, upcoming events, uh, Embedded Linux Conference 2018 is coming up in Portland uh, in March. And I think the CFP for that will go online in just a couple of weeks. Uh, and then Embedded Linux Conference Europe, it wasn't actually listed on the slides in the keynotes this morning, but we are going to be co-located with uh, Open Source Summit Europe in Edinburgh, Scotland. Uh, again, next year, about this, actually the same exact days, except shifted off a day, I think. It's a Tuesday. Um, so we invite you to come to that. Um, but first, before we get to some of the other stuff, I just want to do a little bit of a tribute to someone who's been a, uh, a long-time uh, contributor to the Embedded Linux Conference. And so I'd like to welcome Michael Optenacker up to the stage. This is Michael Optenacker. You can see the resemblance. Um, so he is a uh, founder and CEO of uh, Free Electrons. Uh, he's an active contributor to the open source community. And uh, his company does uh, embedded Linux consulting and training around the world. Um, and here's a picture. This is the best one I could find. I looked all over Google. I, looked, I spent hours going through the, the slides. <laughs> You're very elusive. Uh, <laughs> But uh, Michael gave a talk at ELC. He did a boff uh, at this session here. Um, some of the things that Michael has been responsible for uh, in terms of his ELC legacy, he did some video recording at the, one of the very first uh, embedded Linux conferences in San Jose. And the videos are still online today. You can go out there and look at them. And the amazing thing, I actually went out and, and looked at some of these. Um, and there's a mainlining panel that has Greg Crawl Hartman on it because, of course, that's, that's what Greg does. He's been doing this for so long. But it, I was listening to it, and I thought, oh, it can't be that relevant. It's still relevant. It's amazing to me. The same exact issues that we had with terms of mainlining patches in 2006 are the same ones we have today. So you can even go back 10 years, 11 years, and, uh, and uh, watch the videos. And this treasure trove of videos, Michael is pretty much the primary reason that we have them. And so I just want to give him a round of applause for, for doing that. Now, this will seem a little bit strange, uh, but you have to understand a little bit of the history of ELC. So 
for some reason, we always give people trophies on their 11th year of contribution. <laughs> so this is the third such trophy we've given. I don't know, binary, I, I don't know. It's, uh, but after 11 years of contributing to ELC, we have this trophy for you. So well, thank you. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks very much. <laughs> okay. Okay, we're done. <laughs> and, and he's a good sport. We were just talking right before the session began. So he's on the program committee, and uh, the program committee are acting as judges for this session, which means, of course, that they don't get to win any of the prizes, which is kind of a bummer. This is one of the many sacrifices that people... That people oh, I forgot. Oh, there's something that goes with it. Come back up. Um, so just as a token of our appreciation, we also got you this uh, three terabyte wireless hard drive uh, for storing videos. <laughs> for storing videos. Thank so you. there you go. Okay, so we're going to play some games. Uh, we're going to get to the fun part here. So. As I've said before, I like to play games uh, where everyone has a chance to win. We used to do these games where we'd pull a small number of people up out of the audience. And that was fun. It was fun to watch. But I think it's more fun if you actually have a chance to win, too. Uh, we'll have two types of games in this session. We'll have a game of skill and, well, skill. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> and luck. Uh, the basic outline is that for each of these games, we, take, we start with the entire audience, and then we narrow it down uh, using either trivia questions or uh, some other method. And then after we get to a small number, we'll have you come up, and you'll draw for one of these great prizes. And uh, I can see they're working on the fishbowl now for the, for the drawing portion of it. So what's at stake? In terms of our prizes today, uh, we have a whole bunch of development boards and uh, also some other stuff. So I'm just going to go through these. Uh, donated by Intel, we have uh, four Intel Joule boards uh, for creating intelligent, autonomous robots, intelligent drones. Uh, we have a couple of Minnow boards donated by the Octo Project. Uh, we have some Raspberry Pis and Raspberry Pi 3 Kana starter kits. And these were donated by a couple of different companies, Critio, Red Hat, and Linux Foundation. Uh, there's a Dragon Board 410C, also donated by the Octo Project. Um, we have a, a BeagleBone Black, uh, donated by the Octo Project. And we have some WarpX uh, Linux IoT boards that were donated by uh, the WarpX community. Uh, they're uh, up here. They're really, uh, you may have seen them in the demo, these little tiny Wi Fi modules. Pretty cool. Um, and then there's some other stuff. We have uh, some Mastering Embedded Linux Programming books donated by Chris Simmons. Chris Simmons, are you in here? Okay, yeah, there's Chris Simmons. The author of the book is here at the conference. So I, I talked to him this morning. Uh, you can actually, if you win one of these books, you can go get it signed by the author. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have some LWN.net subscriptions. Uh, so if there's some article that's uh, behind the pay thing at LWN.net, that's not pay, it's uh, deferred, uh, you can go read that immediately if you get one of these subscriptions. And uh, of course, I always put a plug in for LWN.net uh, because they've just done amazing work uh, over the years at, at documenting and, uh, and kind of creating a community because of the, uh, the forum that they provide and the amount of information they provide. And then we also have, uh, Sony has donated a uh, mobile projector. Uh, a, a little Pico projector. It's about the same size as a cell phone. Uh, in that picture, there's both a cell phone and the projector. You don't get the phone. You have to provide your own phone. Uh, but anyway, so we've got some really great prizes. Um, and before we get started, I just want to do a really brief transition. Uh, I want to get into the mode of fun for this event. So people know that I'm, I'm known for putting on shirts. I'm going to do it here. I was supposed to provide a screen. Oops. This is my Fuego t-shirt. If you don't know about Fuego, you should go check it out. Now here's the really embarrassing part. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. OK. Okay. 
So the sacrifices we make on the program committee to entertain our, our attendees. Okay, so I don't know how this looks. Luckily, I don't. I can't see myself. So we'll just go with it. Um, so our first game, let's get right into it. Uh, we have technical and nerd trivia. Um, we have a bunch of questions. It's important to note that this game is not fair. <laughs> so if you expect, <laughs> you may think you know the answer, but sometimes we're tricky. Uh, and so, it, you know, I, please don't get upset if something doesn't go your way. Uh, and uh, the adjudication of the judges, which we have on either side, is final. Um, so, we have a warm-up question. Everyone stand up. We'll use this question to kind of train you how this is going to go. Everyone should have a red and a green paper. Does everyone have a red and green paper? Okay. If you don't, there may be some still at the back that you can grab. Okay. So this is our warm-up question. Linus Torvalds loves talking to people about Linux. So hold up, hold up the color you think correctly. OK. That's interesting. There are some naysayers in there. There's some <laughs> contrarians. I'm not going to count this one against you. Come on, it was in the keynote this morning. He said <laughs> he said he does not like. He much prefers to do email. OK, so if you had been holding up green, which I don't know why you're holding up green. But anyway, if you had been holding up green, we would have asked you to sit down. But that was just our warm-up question. OK, so now we'll start with the real question. So you got the basic idea of the game. Here's our next question. What is the current rele currently released kernel version? Is it 4.14 RC5 or is it 4.13.9? Okay, about half of you are going to be unhappy. But on the, on the other side, half of you are going to be happy. Uh, it's 4.13.9, and I'll tell you my rationing. <laughs> because released candidates don't count. It actually says candidate in the name. And, and we're not on RC5, we're on RC6. That was also in the keynote this morning. <laughs> OK, so if you, had, if you were holding up green, please sit down. Have you already done that? OK, so most of you got that one right. OK, I have a new thing. If you've seen this game before, I have a new kind of subsection of it called IoT Real or Fake. OK, so IoT Real or Fake. This gaming toothbrush helps kids brush their teeth more effectively while helping parents keep track of their kids' brushing habits. Is that a real or a fake IoT device? Oh, wow. OK, well, I didn't fool anyone, I guess. <laughs> the Grush toothbrush system. OK, I hope I don't run out of questions. <laughs> oh, yeah, the game's not fair. I, uh... <laughs> OK, now we'll get a little bit harder. ELC 2008 was held at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View. A uh, museum was previously the headquarters for a, an early computer company. Was that MIPS or Silicon Graphics? OK, it was Silicon Graphics. So if you were in green, sit down. Oh, I'm not wondering you out fast enough. Uh-oh. <laughs> we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. Prague has how many inhabitants? Just the capital city, not the whole metropolitan area. Is it less than 2 million, greater than 2 million? I think people are looking around and copying their neighbor. <laughs> it's less than 2 million. In that case, in this case, the copying your neighbor thing worked to my advantage. <laughs> what? Back, oh wait. Oh! <laughs> okay, green back up. I'm sorry, Red, sit down. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> we're, we were just talking before the session. We're, okay, raise your hand. Okay, just hold on to your positions. Raise your hand if you were here in 20... Oh, I can't say that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I got a question on that later. I'll talk to you about it when we get to that. <laughs> okay, hmm, 
Someone doesn't know their colors. <laughs> okay, what developer has been doing a lot of work on size reduction upstream lately? Is it Matt Makel? Nicholas Petrie? Oh, holy smokes. I think I got the color right on this one. It's Nicholas Petrie. Uh, he's been trying to get Linux running on a system with 384K of RAM. Okay, that's, that's fairly impressive. Uh, IoT real or fake? This egg tray reminds you when an individual egg is past its expiration date. Real or fake? Okay, this is a real product. <laughs> okay, we still got a ton of people left. Wow, okay. When was ELC Europe last held in Prague? Was it six years ago or five years ago? <laughs> Yeah, I should, I should really practice not giving the answers away. It was in 2011. Okay, so now I'm going to get back to my little story I was saying. So it, raise your hand if you were here in 2011. Okay, does anybody remember the closing game from that session? Oh, man, what a disaster. Uh, <laughs> but, but I will stand by my conviction that it was the most entertaining one we ever had. Uh, okay. Now, lava tube caves were recently discovered on this celestial body that could be used to house an exploration facility or a habitat. Was that the moon or Mars? Okay. It was the moon. So, Red, please sit down. Okay. So, that's pretty cool. Japanese spacecraft found some places we could put a moon base. Um, IoT, real or fake? This network-connected Rubik's Cube can display its current configuration in real time on your smartphone. Oh, that's too bad. There's actually a YouTube video that shows something like this. How are we doing? What's our count? Can you prove it does exist? I cannot. <laughs> <laughs> the game is not fair. Thank you for... <laughs> how many are we doing? Okay, it looks like we're going to have to do one more round. I know, it's a bummer. When you get this close. Okay, the Prague Castle is the largest ancient castle by area in the world. Okay. Okay, so judges take close note of who's got what up. It's actually true. Okay, so if you're holding up a green card right now, come on up to the stage and you have won a prize. We got three. Oh, we're in huge. Yeah, first come, first serve. Grab a number, and it corresponds to one of these lovely prizes. Oh, this is not a prize. That's my camera. <laughs> yeah, down on that table. Oh, no, it's on this table. Here we go. Yep. Mastering Embedded Linux. Programming. Three. Oh, LWN.net certificate. Eight. Uh, Raspberry Pi and some other SD card and some other stuff donated by Red Hat. Okay. All right. Thanks. Everybody back up. Okay, that took a long time. I got to get harder questions. Here we go. Who said the following? If you're not using a stable long term kernel, your machine is insecure. We do need harder questions because that is true. Okay, if you're red, please sit down. This product sends a Twitter message when your baby's diaper is wet. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> This one I had, I had to reuse from Portland because it was so good. Uh, it is a real product. 
and the name is priceless. The Tweet Pea. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Apple just completed their new spaceship campus, uh, but there's another large major tech company who's proposed another kind of large building in Silicon Valley. Is it Google or Facebook? Okay. Oops. <laughs> okay, you're going to have to take my word for it. And I, I, I swear, I'm not making it up. It is actually Google. So if you're green, stay up. <laughs> yeah. What happened? Who made these slides anyway? <laughs> Some guy. It's not fair. Okay. How many ELC Europe events have been held? Is it nine or 11? Okay, the answer is 11. First one was in Linz, Austria, 2007. Okay, kernel documentation was recently, well, it was overhauled in the last year. We went from DocBook to what new format? Was it ASCII docs, RE structured test, or Markdown? Okay, commit. <laughs> okay, it was. RE structured text with Sphinx as the uh, documentation generator. Okay, how are we doing on Pete? How, how many we got? Okay. Let's have everybody still standing come on up. Yay. And we need our second set of numbers. <laughs> All right. If I did not count correctly, this will get awkward. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, what'd you get? Uh, 16, right here, middle board. There you go. 18, Raspberry Pi. All right. 15, oh, the jewel kit. Okay. 17 uh, is over here, Raspberry Pi. <laughs> okay, 20. 20, one of the books. There you go. 14. Is, oh, here we go. Jewel kit. Five. Jewel kit. By the way, the Pico projector is number six, in case you're. <laughs> 13. Oh, when are we doing? We yeah, we're doing okay. <laughs> okay, 21, the book. Okay. 19, the book. What'd you get? Four. Okay, the turbo. Okay, one. Oh. Raspberry Pi can kit. <laughs> okay, what number is that? Six. Okay. That's the Sony Pico projector. <laughs> Mastering embedded Linux. There you Thank go. You You're welcome. 23. Okay. Is that it? Okay, so we have one, two, three. We have five prizes left. So let's uh, move on to our next thing. Uh, can you, uh, in the back, can you turn, turn it off and advance it to slide number 73? <laughs> if, I, if my memory serves. Uh, oh. Oh, no, 74. <laughs> my memory does not serve. <laughs> Okay, so that was game number one. We still have some prizes left, so now it's time for just some, uh, some bald-faced luck. So we're going to play game two. Oh, what in the heck? <laughs> okay, this rock, paper, scissors. It's not the last game. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is traditional rock, paper, scissors against the presenter. We tried in Portland. Uh, this last year to try to do a group one, and it just did not work. 
And uh, it taught us some interesting things about, uh, about herd dynamics, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> so this is against the presenter, and uh, it's just classic rock, paper, scissors. Rock beats scissors, scissors cuts paper, paper covers rock. If you beat the presenter, which in this case is the presentation, you get to stay in the game. So this is actually brutal. I'm sorry, but if you tie, you have to sit down. Uh, and so we're going to knock out two-thirds of you at a go. This is kind of a guaranteed, statistically, we're going to slaughter you. <laughs> so that's why we end with this game. Um, so everyone stand up. And what I want you to do is I'll say, ready, set, and then go. Put your hand up and just hold that. Oh, you, you can decide ahead of time, I guess. <laughs> so uh, ready, set, go. OK, hold that. The presenter is rock. If you are paper, you get to stay in the game. OK. OK, hands down. Ready, set, go. OK, now, I think some of you know my trick on this one, but I've actually mixed it up this time. <laughs> some people who have come to enough ELCs know that I always repeat the first two. <laughs> to try and trick you. Oh, I see people nodding their head, yeah. OK, so, OK. Ready, set, go. OK, so if you are paper, you get to stay in the game. Looks like we have to do it one more time. Ready, set, go. Scissors. OK, so if you are rock, if you are rock, you're in the game. How many we got? OK. OK, ready, set, go. OK, if you're a rock, stay in the game. Oh, did we lose everyone? <laughs> <laughs> I have to see. Was that a double? Yeah, it was. <laughs> Those doubles always get people. Uh, OK, everybody back up then. OK, ready, set, throw. <clears throat> OK, ready, set, throw. Oh. <laughs> OK, stay in if you're scissors. OK, okay. ready, set, throw. <laughs> OK, uh, we're still over five. We're still over five. OK. What? Yeah, okay, if you guys could please mix it up, that'd be better. <laughs> Ready, set, throw. OK, there, there's only one rock. There's only one rock that I see. Uh. <laughs> yeah. OK, so I think four of you, four of you still standing, come on up and uh, get a prize. <laughs> Two, until jewel board. Twelve is the Warp X board. Nine. There you go, Beaglebone. Oh, thank you. Okay, so we could do this one more time. <laughs> I've only got one. Should we do it one more time? Have a death match over the last? Nah, let's. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 So, uh, can you advance the slides to 127? This time, I think I'm actually right. Aha. Uh -huh. OK, so thanks very much. Let's give a round of applause to the people who won prizes. And I just have, I just have one closing thought here. Um, and this is, uh, I've taken the next couple slides from, uh, from some training that I do internally at Sony. 
And uh, it's a thought that I've given before, but I think it's uh, worth remembering. Um, and that is a common mistake, what I call the first mistake, uh, when people get involved with open source. Um, and it's something that I learned uh, fairly early, but probably not early enough, in my own open source career. I remember I was at Ottawa Linux Symposium. And sorry, it's hard to be taken seriously with this thing on, right? So. <laughs> Um, I was at Ottawa Linux Symposium, and I had gone out to dinner with, uh, with some other people at the event. And uh, we were having a discussion, and, uh, and uh, you know, I was representing Sony, a big company, and I kind of felt like I was in the presence of a bunch of uh, individual contributors. And, and so I, you know, I kept saying stuff like, oh, you know, I wish, I wish we would, um, uh, I, wish, I wish you guys would, you know, help us uh, with what we're doing here in terms of getting stuff upstream. And I kept saying, you and us. And uh, the community, that's not how the community works. It's not a, it's not a case of uh, you are something separate from the community. Uh, it's very much a case that you are part of the community. If you see something that's not happening that you want to happen, you can't just sit around and, and hope someone else does it. Yeah, you got to go out and kind of make it happen yourself. And you have every right, no matter whether you've been doing this for over 20 years like I have, or if this is uh, the first time you've just been working on, on Linux for a couple of weeks, you have the same right and privilege uh, to go out and make stuff happen, to go out and contribute. Um, and so don't make the mistake of, of isolating yourself, of, of thinking of the community as someone else. The community is you, and, and you can enjoy all the benefits of being involved in this great effort. So with that, I want to thank you uh, for coming to our conference. I uh, hope to see you again in the future, and uh, that's it. Thank you very much for being here. <laughs>